A river's path is never easy. A river faces many obstacles, but nothing stops it from following its path. Change is inevitable. In a scenario where everything is changing, we invite you to sail towards the world that we envision for us all. But first, we must leave behind everything that doesn't match the reality we want. At Enactus UFPA, we act for a world with equality for people and responsibility for the environment. In September 2019, Enactus launched the One Race for Oceans competition in order to engage teams to develop solutions for the oceans crisis. That's when we challenge ourselves to become part of it. Did you know that the Amazon has the second most polluted river by plastic in the world? This huge problem repeats itself all over the country, where most of the waste discarded in the urban rivers is plastic. Guess where all that ends up? If we continue down this path, by 2050, our oceans will have more plastic than fish. The decomposition of this material generates microplastic, directly affecting marine life and causing serious health problems. So, in December 2019, we created Anaman to stop the plastic flow in the Amazon rivers by capturing and upcycling this material. The first month, we developed a low-cost technology designed to fill it up to 20 meters of thread per bottle, resulting in a plastic thread three times stronger and 77% cheaper than alternatives available on the market. Then, it can be used to create new products. This PET thread is the basis for our Eco Barrier that was developed with business mentors and experts on marine life and sanitation. It works like this. The thread is welded to pipes that are attached to urban rivers, creating a net which retains submerged and floating waste, capturing plastic before it reaches the oceans. Our Eco Barrier has a biofilter to absorb chemical impurities and to ensure marine life preservation we adapt the technology to each local ecosystem as a way to guarantee the transit of all species. The waste collected ensures raw material for the next one. We sell them through two main channels. To the government, which lacks access to cost-efficient technology to solve the problem of plastic waste in urban rivers, and to ESG-focused private companies. Validating our business model, we sold 33 eco-barriers to be installed until the end of the year. We have renowned clients, such as the Federal Government, Bank of Brazil Foundation, Ford Fund, and Amanco Vavin. Collectively, these systems have the potential to improve urban sanitation for over 1 million people. We already installed five eco barriers, which are impacting everyone who lives around them. After product market fit, we will insert at risk people in the installation process, generating decent income with a human centric design approach. With our eco-barriers, we are stopping ocean-bound plastic waste, which means less water, electricity and oil wasted, as well as a reduction in CO2 emissions. Nine months ago, none of this existed. Today, Anama is the seventh best initiative in Latin America to solve the ocean's crisis. We were also chosen to be at the One Race for Oceans final round to show we can scale our solution and impact not only the Amazon, but the entire world. But that isn't the only obstacle we face in our river's path. In the Amazon, social inequality results in lack of opportunities for us women. Even when we get a chance, most female workers don't receive a worthy income, and this becomes worse in the slums. As a woman, I feel every day how opportunities are different for us. In Costura E, I met other women, like Eliana, one of so many other slum residents who face daily gender inequality and its consequences. It's a tough reality that requires them to be stronger. Because of this, we work to empower them as seamstresses in the sustainable fashion industry, promoting a fairer supply chain. With training modules in sewing and entrepreneurship, they learned from workers in the local fashion market how to channel their own creativity 
to transform fashion industry waste into opportunities for income generation. Since 2018, in Costura Studio, seamstresses lead the design and production of exclusive collections, dedicating themselves to slow fashion, creating eco bags that carry the story of strong women and of an Amazon in coastal improvement. We sell the collection directly to customers and through resellers, which include the main slow fashion players in the Amazon. Our business model was validated into one of the largest incubation programs for impact businesses, ensuring financial sustainability and strengthening our value proposition. No wonder we're Brazil's sixth best social environmental initiative. Each eco bag costs an average of two dollars and are sold for nine. Profits are split between the seamstresses and Costura E, so we can be reinvested in the business. This year, we've increased our numbers and sold over 200 units. This was what we did until March. A gente foi impactado de cheio, porque a, a maioria da, da nossa renda aqui é do turismo e vem dos restaurantes. In Brazil, the pandemic has hit us hard, as the already existing social problems are getting worse. Adapting to this reality is especially difficult for those who have always been fighting for survival. I knew that together we could design solutions and improve our communities. Anaman reinvented itself, but without neglecting its mission of reducing plastic waste. Apply our circular economy principles, we upcycled plastic bottles to produce face shields that cost less than a dollar to make and are sold for two dollars each. This price is 60% cheaper than other alternatives, ensuring that everyone can afford it. The next step was putting our training process and sales channels online. A decentralization strategy allowed us to create multiple production hubs across the city. With delivery handled by the hub closest to orders, we were able to cut costs, ensure a higher profit margin, and get face shields to more people in less time. With that business model, we sold over 1,400 face shields, generating more than $4,000 in revenue. On average, each producer gains in just three days over $120 in income, which corresponds to an amount higher than the government's emergency financial aid. Costura e started producing cloth masks, and to reduce health risks to the seamstresses, we adopt a decentralized production model, moving sewing machines from the studio into each of their homes. The number of orders skyrocketed. Therefore, we increased our production capacity. In just one month, Costura E added eight more seamstresses to the production team, purchased three new industrial sewing machines, and produced nearly 6,000 masks. My dream is to build my own canteen in my hotel. And I am able to Vou conseguir, se Deus quiser, só com o dinheiro que eu ganho fazendo confecção nas máscaras e eu estou conseguindo fazer o meu cantinho, o meu cantinho da minha costura. However, the conventional masks only solve part of the problem. The obligatory use of masks meant another obstacle the deaf people face in communicating. With this in mind, we developed an adapted version that used upcycled PET bottles, allowing lip reading and helping them effectively communicate. This idea became a reality thanks to Ford Found Support, that chose us as one of the best initiatives to mitigate the consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic, investing $1,000 in Costura E. Due to the overwhelming demand for adapted masks, we noticed the opportunity to expand sales to other affected groups. This way, we provided more help to those who have been harmed by the new reality, selling more than 2,000 units. Over the past 12 months, with a diversified portfolio, Costura E accumulated over $10,000 in revenue. Seamstresses gained over $4,000 in income, which represents an increase of 274%. 
more than numbers, it means that we are on the right path to become a consolidated business impact. Next, we launched a crowdfund campaign to reduce the effects of COVID-19 in the Amazon. In just eight days, our campaign raised over $6,000. Then, we teamed up with local businesses to ensure essential items got to those who needed them the most. We were selected to receive a 4600 euro grant from the Francophone University Agency, enabling us to distribute adapted masks and face shields. All of this made it possible for more than 9,000 people to receive over 5 tons of food, personal protective equipment, hygiene items and 500 washing stations installed with a Monaca tool rainwater harvesting system. With the investment of $15,000 by our partners, Anamã is building what will be the Amazon's first plastic waste processing plant. This way, we'll be able to work with other types of plastic and launch even more products with the materials collected by our eco-barriers. As for Costura E, we partnered up with Brazil's Postal Service and the federal government to transform male-made uniforms and other scraps of fabric into new collections. We will also expand the decentralized system, increasing our production capacity and generating income for other women starting with nine new seamstresses. Since the last World Cup, we've established a Monaca tool as an independent social business that left a legacy in our team. And through its rainwater systems, it provides access to clean water to over 7,000 people. A legacy that challenges us to generate more impact, to be resilient and create a better world for us all, even when facing a global pandemic. This story was built by 47 entrepreneurial leaders one faculty advisor and many partners. Nearly 15 million people were inspired by our message. And our economic impact surpassed $100,000, helping us impact 213,207 lives. While the government recognized our effort to lead progress in our state with a certificate of honor. We're from the Amazon, and the rivers are inspiration. And that's the whole world resignifies itself, will keep on striving for the real change.